save me I just want you to save me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you, God, for allowing me to use this platform to glorify and honor his name. And I'm just so happy that more people have joined my channel because um, I feel like we're all... We're, like this is a time of revival the time for the fall for everyone to come back to Christ and I just feel like all of my followers are people who are really just trying to get their relationship back on Christ with track back on track with Christ or people who um, are just here to help each other we're all had we're all here to help each other so you guys help me a lot with your nice comments and your advices and everything and I just love how it's just a community um, it's just a community of Christians on this page and we're gonna keep it that way period um, I got my I did my hair so this is new for me um, but today's video because we didn't come here to talk about my hair today's video is identity it's about identity and before I do my videos um, well at least this one for sure and the first test my testimony video before I thought of this one, God really put on my heart because this is something that a lot of people are still struggling with, believer or non-believer, but non-believer in a sense that they're putting their identity in other things when they can be putting their identity in Christ, which is making them feel so lost into the world and to be lukewarm or to be this and this. And in believers as well as like still those believers who are consistent in church, but they're still putting their identity in um, things that have strongholds on them, whether it's just that relationship that, you know, God told them to leave or that family or that job or that career. Um, so this video, I hope will help a lot of people. So yeah, let's, um, let's get into it. I'm really excited. And now I take notes because I didn't like how I felt like I was a little disorganized in the last video. I'm really hard on myself, which I need to stop doing because you guys received it well and that makes my heart so happy. But I, now I take notes because um, I lose track fast. So let's just get into it. So um, I want to ask you guys a question because I had to ask myself this question um, two months ago um, during my unemployment. And this question is, where does your identity lie? On yourself, other people, or in God? Now, a lot of people are probably going to look at this question and be like, oh my gosh, like, am I all three of them? Am I two out of three of them? Or is it just God? Or is it one of the other? And the reason why I asked this, because I asked myself this question two months ago. Um, and two months ago the answer that I gave I didn't like it so I was like I'm gonna change that answer because the other options that I was circling for that answer was one of the that one of them wasn't God and as you know like I was a mess so let's just get into the video so the reason why I asked that is because once upon a time I used to put my whole identity into my family and being um a good reliable friend like always there um and there's nothing wrong with that but i was like putting myself last i was putting my identity in my job i was putting my identity in my trauma i was putting my identity in um i i didn't love myself and i was putting my identity in my sin so I was making sin a part of my identity, you know, specific sins that I was making my identity. And I remember two months ago, I was like, we're going to change that because respectfully, like, it's not doing any good for me. It's not doing any good for my mental health. It, it, I feel like I felt like I was dying. Um, and that's the thing is that people, I feel like people don't realize like how much they were dead inside when they do all these sins or when, they are, when their identity isn't in Christ and it's very real so I just want to tap into that so I did touch on um you know um how you know how I used to people please my family and I used to put my identity so much into my family because me and my family went through everything together um trauma and 
conflicts and just nor you know family stuff and it was heavy and so for me my little brain was like okay since we went through this together we got to stick together and i need to keep my relationship with them because they're the only ones that can understand me or what i went through or they're you know etc 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 and this is what i used what i put in my brain so for the longest time I used to put, I would put my identity in them. I would tell all my friends about my family. I would I literally put my family on a pedestal and um, it disrupted me really bad because um, that's what you're not supposed to do. Why am I um, trying so hard to put my identity in them when that's only going to cause you to dis literally to defeat? It's going to, you're going to be defeated. And so for me, me placing my identity in that, there would be times, I mentioned this two videos ago, that if my family members and I got into an argument and they did not talk to me for like, and the thing is with me and my family is that when we're mad at each other, it's for months to years we do not talk. I can't even begin to explain to y'all how extremely dangerous and toxic this is. It's so toxic, it's not even funny. And um, when they wouldn't talk to me, I fell into depression. I fell into depression. I fell into depression. It's not even a joke. I was depressed. I used to get depressed. I used to get depressed. I couldn't sleep. I would binge eat because when I'm depressed, I binge eat. Um, I would literally destroy myself because my family wasn't talking to me. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and I remember... Um, and people who are in relationships can probably relate to this. Like, you know, when you're in a relationship and your man or your girl, um, you guys take a break or you guys break up or they're, you know, always getting mad at you, silent treatment, you, you get depressed. Um, that's not good because we're putting our identity in that so much. We're putting all of what we are into that and what we are should not be tied to that. Um, so I would get depressed and... I would be so sad and I remember like since they would not talk to me I wasn't talking to them they get an attitude with me I get an attitude with them they put their hands on me I put my hands on them and th it was creating this toxic thing this toxic cycle and I was like nah I can't do this no more so same thing with sp the specific sins that I was dealing with. There was specific sins that I was making my identity and it shouldn't have been my identity. And it was my identity because I was start it was turning it it was starting to affect me in real life. So let's say for example, gossip, right? I don't want gossiping to be part of my identity. I don't want to be one of those people who can't go a day without gossiping. Yeah, that made sense. Sorry. Um and I remember I used to be like that. I used to be like, oh my gosh, like, what's the tea? What's this? What's this? Same thing with having, like, lustful thoughts. That was part of my identity. I would have these lustful thoughts, and then I made finding a boy for my identity, and then I made um, 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 wanting to be in a relationship my identity, wanting to be married my identity, and it's played out. Like, to me, it was just getting exhausting. And literally one day, I just laid in bed, and... I was thinking for a long time and let me read this I was thinking for a long time and I remember I I remember I feel like the Holy Spirit was speaking through me and they were like I want you to reflect okay if I were to take this friendship away from you who are you if I were to take this relationship from you who are you if I were to take take away um, your family from you and by take away I don't mean like rem like um, banish or whatever I mean like remove them out of your life who are you what would your be what would your reaction be why are you allowing that to cause you to have such a reaction and then I went even more deeper I was like your career what if that's not the career that I line from you um, what if I were to take that career you want so bad away from you that I didn't put into your alignment, into your will? What would you do? 
so I remember I was putting all my identity into those things and then I was like there's no way I need these things if these things get removed out of my life I don't know what I'm gonna do I remember like before um, I had that prior thought that's how I used to be. I used to be like, oh my gosh, you know, I love my family. I will make this work. If we, if I have to be annoying and we make up, I'm going to be annoying and we wait, we make up. Oh no, like I can't get, I can't um, kill this um, um, fantasy or this stronghold of being in a relationship because then I'm going to be single forever. And it's like, I had these negative thoughts. So when I'm asking myself these questions two months ago or even a month ago even, and that's when I realized I don't know who I am. It was, it's so crazy, but one day, like, obviously, believers and non-believers, uh, or lo people who are not deep in the faith yet, you have that one day where God sits you down, or that one day God hits you in your head, knocks some sins into your head, and that was me two months ago, I, 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 I was like, who am I? Who, what do you like to do, Mary? What do you not tolerate? What boundaries will you set? Where is your identity? And that's when I realized I didn't know who I was. And that's when I really realized I don't love myself. And that made me really sad. That right there made me cry all freaking night, you know? Um, so I remember I was like, nah, we're not doing this no more. I, I truly believe the Holy Spirit was putting that on my heart. And I just remember I put my identity into everything but God. And that's when that, like, that the light switch went off the light bulb like ding, ding 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 and i was like nah 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 because i know some people are probably going to be in the comments like you don't need god to find your identity or you don't need god to know who you are i bet you do i bet you do because i didn't know who, who bro i'm not gonna even argue with anyone who I'm not going to even put that into the air for anyone to put that in the comments, but 100% you do. We literally come from God. God knew who we, God literally knew who we were before we were in the womb. This is, we operate in a spiritual too. And that's what a lot of people fail to realize. So literally Jeremiah 1, 5, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as prophets of the nations. Before we were even born, God knew who we were. God knew who you were. We are literally a part of him. So our identity is him. It's not our parents because guess what? Our Even though we, we physically came from our mom, our identity is not with our mom because our parents came from God. Everyone comes from God because I know someone in the comments is going to be like, well, I came from my great, great, great grandmother. Your great, 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 great grandmother also came from God. God created this world and he created this people. Our identity is with Christ. And that's what I want people to realize. And that's one thing I had to realize because I was putting it into my family. Back then, the light bulb wasn't on. I wasn't thinking like, oh my gosh, like, no, I'm thinking... I'm thinking earthly. I'm thinking f with my flesh. I'm thinking in in our earthly bodies. Like no, I I'm I came from my mom and my dad. Like I love my family. I'm I'm a ride or die till the wheels fall off. And I wasn't having that same energy with God. I did not have that same energy with God. So literally, two months ago, I was like, Nah, we need to fix that. And even God was like, What's up? Like we need to fix that because really, like what's going on? And once I started to chase that relationship with him, and once I started to develop that relationship with him, oh my goodness, that man showed me so much. He showed me so much. And I'm grateful and thankful because he showed me how much I didn't know myself. He showed me how much I was putting my identity in other people. He showed me how much, how much I just didn't respect myself he also showed me how much i didn't know him so i changed that up real quick and i really 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 want to make sure that i'm putting this message out there for those who are probably struggling with this because you're probably in a relationship with the love of your life maybe that's the love of your life maybe it's not if that is truly the love of your life there will be a way that if it's in God's will, there will be a way that you guys will meet again and you guys will be together again. But if not, you're scared to leave that relationship because truthfully, you're putting your identity in that relationship. You're putting your identity into that person. And we need to be careful because that's why 
when we put our identity in other people, it causes us to do things that allows us to have a deeper attachment to them and it makes us consume them even more. So let's say a couple has been dating for like um, some time now and they break up and they're both distraught and broken and sad. A lot of times you see these relationships and you see that the, 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 these people are sad. It's because they put all of them into the relationship when we're not supposed to do that. Obviously, like when you're married and you, you have your, your boot thing or whatever, you're going to give them your energy 100%. But all of you shouldn't be given. You guys should have a relationship where it's you guys and God. Because if it's just you two, that's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. There's always going to be things that you're you're accepting from that person, whether it's good or bad. But when it's bad, you're going to keep accepting the things that they're doing to you. And you're going to end up literally like angry and you guys are going to have... It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of drama. So we have to be very careful with that because if you're not operating where it's you, your man and God or a, a man, his girl and God, that relationship, it's not, it's not going to work out. And sometimes when we break up with people, when people break up and it's just they're torn or whatever, it's because they gave all of them into that relationship. And I feel like sometimes it, it's, it's very sad because as humans, we have that natural tendency to do it, but we have to be careful because when you give your all to somebody and they don't appreciate it, you get messed up. And I know because I've, I've seen that with friendships, like even with my friendships, like, do you know how much I put into my friendships, my, my time, my advice, my money, my, my, just my presence even like, I don't play about my time, but when I have friends, I love them down. Like I literally try to be there for them. And do you know how many times I got backstabbed? I got betrayed. I got lied on. They didn't give a crap. And I remember it's always that for me. For me, it's the friendship breakups. Like, I get so sad. And I'm like, man, I don't trust nobody. And that's when you become this person that you're not even supposed to be becoming. Why do you have to become an evil person or a worse person in the first place? Because someone did you wrong. And I get it because that's so natural for us as humans. But that's why we don't give all of who we are to just another human. The only person you should give all of who you are with is your father is God is God and I promise you once you do that your life will be so peaceful I've never been so at peace in my life than I am now nothing is disrupting this peace in Jesus name I'm sorry it's not happening and it's just so like refreshing because it's just like I know that now if God were to send me a relationship or a friendship which he has I'm not going to give every single part of who I am to that person because I don't have to do that. I don't have to. And I think it's just very important for us to protect who we are, especially because we're God's children. Literally, we're God's children. Um, and I just wanted to say this, this, this verse is Psalms 1, 1 through 3. Blessed is the one who does not I'm sorry. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the step with the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose lead does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Why am I getting emotional? I don't know. That's the Holy Spirit. And the reason why I'm getting emotional because I can relate to this verse so much. And you really start to bloom as a person once you put your identity in Christ. I promise you, your identity is not your career. Your identity is not your diagnosis. Your identity is not your family. Your identity is not school. Your identity is not I identify as. Your identity is not my astrology sign is. I rebuke in Jesus' name. Your identity is not that. Your identity is in Christ. 
whether you guys want to accept that or not that's where you really can find true joy and happiness and i'm not saying this to be annoying that annoying christian or whatever i'm saying this because i'm really trying to help y'all it is real out here it is real out here it's already hard trying to survive here in this world but you can live a life of peace and joy if you put your identity in christ this is not a joke and i know because i've been unhappy my whole life my whole life because i went through this trauma i made trauma everything about me and i'm not my trauma i'm not a victim i'm a victor i'm not a victim i defeated I won. I made it. I survived. I'm not there no more. I'm not going to keep living in it. That's what the enemy wants you to do, to live in your ish, to sit in it. You're ever in a horrible relationship and you're just hanging on because of the memories and, and, and time. Leave. If you're not being loved, if it's not Christ-centered, if your identity is in that person, you need to leave, babe. It's, it's, it's not... It's, you're not going to go anywhere. You're trapped. You're going to be trapped in your mind. And you don't have to live like that. We weren't made to be. We're made to live free. We're meant to be free. When people. When, when Christians say like now you know we're free and stuff like this. We're free. You guys don't get. When they say we're free. Obviously we're free. Like physically. But we're free. Like free. We're set free. Our our mind doesn't have no stronghold to any um, horrible thoughts. And we don't have any strongholds to our past. We don't have any strongholds to um, toxic toxicity. We don't have any strongholds to anything bad. Our chains are broken. We're free, guys. I need you guys to understand that. Because it's just... I feel like a lot of people... Oh, my goodness. Wow. I feel like a lot of people are struggling through that and I know how it feels because I went through that too. I literally went through that two months ago. This is crazy, two months ago. And I realized I have, I can control a lot of things because God is in me. God has allowed me to have controls of things. You can rebuke negative thoughts. You can rebuke overthinking. You don't have to be stuck in anything toxic you have freedom and i don't want you guys to think otherwise literally we have freedom because we serve christ we have god god is literally our savior savior he saves us it's not just the word guys and that's the thing is also is that the more closer i got with god the more i realized that and and it's so funny because i went to a girl um a girl what is it a girl meeting like a girl fellowship today with some girls in my church and one of the girls that um was like the did the lead of the the brunch she was like you know we always often hear um things in the church and you know we think it's repetitive but once you really listen to it um you start to realize like that it has meaning and it's so true because free for me is blowing my mind right now i'm free savior i've been saved by god i'm saved like it's so crazy to me and so i just wanted to go into this next segment that me not having identity in myself caused me not to love myself it's so crazy because if you go on my instagram it's like you see all these beautiful pictures i don't, I don't know if i'll insert it you see all these beautiful pictures and you're probably thinking like wow this girl's really confident when i took almost 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 all those pictures on my page i was not confident and i wasn't happy nah i didn't have any self-respect I, I got i let myself get treated like crap i let myself be easily convinced gullible i was told i need to change um because and that's fine i can change but it, it would be overall it felt at least for me it felt like i just needed to change who i am and if you know that you have to change you change but i feel like a lot of people try to change my character like just me being more me being a kind person a friendly person oh you need to change um i would get judged i would let myself get called nasty names by people i love friends family you name it i would let myself get called names i did not have any boundaries I didn't love myself. 
at all. Once I put my identity in Christ, I, I did not play that. The boundaries are up, babe. I, I'm not, I don't do no more arguing. I don't have time for that. If you have something to say, you can say it, babe, but I'm not gonna respond. Um, I'm not yelling, I'm not arguing. If you have something to say about me, that's fine. Um, but I don't know what to tell you. When you place your identity in Christ, you literally lack nothing. And I'm saying this to the people who are really rooted in Christ because there's a lot of Christians or believers who follow Christ and they're not good people. When I say this, I mean people who really is walking in love and people who are really truly following and walking with God. When you place your identity in Christ, you lack nothing. You like nothing. And I'm just gonna say leave that there. I'm not gonna even dive deep into that. Because you like nothing. And I just wanna say that we all deserve to love ourselves. It's a tough world. We do have this thing where we try to compare. We a lot of people put their identity in social on social media. So they feel like they don't know who they are outside of social media. I used to be like that. I didn't love myself. I try to be five different people. If you're trying to be five different people, God doesn't know you. Sorry to break it to you. He don't know which one to talk to. So I feel like um, we just really need to, oh, look at the shirt. The shirt is nice. <sighs> Isaiah 41.10, let me look that up. Watch me, watch me blow y'all mind. Watch God blow y'all mind. <laughs> Um, a lot of people will put their identity in social media. They don't love themselves. And it's sad because that's what the world, that's the agenda for the world is for us not to know who we are and where we belong to and who our identity is. Isaiah 41 10, do not, don't be afraid for I'm with you. Don't be discouraged for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. <sighs> Man, the Bible is so good. Even me just reading that verse, like, Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah has been popping up a lot too. But um, it's just like what he said here. For I am your God, do not be discouraged. Don't be discouraged about finding who you are. It's just very simple for anyone who's struggling with knowing who they are or knowing their purpose. Your purpose is God. Your purpose is to know God. There's people who are like, what am I useful for? You're useful for so much. There's a lot of people who are like, I did nothing in my 20s. You can, why are we on the time? You can do so much. I used to be like that. Oh my gosh, I'm a loser. I didn't do nothing. I'm almost 30. I did plenty. This pat, this we're seven months into 2020. I'll say a year. I did plenty this past year than I've done in my lifetime serving Christ. I feel like I made up for lost time and even more. So, for anyone who just feels like they don't know who they are, they have no identity, they have no purpose, and that your whole entire being is your family, your relationship, your friendship, your dog, those crystals, I rebuke. Your identity is with Christ. You belong to Christ, whether you guys want to or not. And this video is for believers and non-believers. Your identity is with Christ. This video can help at least one person who's just feeling confused. Your identity is with Christ. You belong to Christ. And once you realize that, I want you to understand it's not hard. It doesn't get hard when you serve him. You only get stronger. Yes, you get, go through spiritual warfare. But in the end, when you think about it, you get stronger. You have no fear and you don't play. You don't put up with that. That's the thing that the world doesn't want to tell you. The world wants us to have fear and to put our identity in 50 di different things so that we get lost and we're confused and we don't know what to do. And that's the whole purpose is distraction, distraction, distraction. When really, really your, your identity is with Christ. And I had just have to keep emphasizing that because that's what it is a lot of people think that being a believer or a christian 
is that we we're, we're like locked up and we can't do nothing and little do you guys know we are the freest of the freest freest of the freest if you really walk in jesus if you walk in the light you're free and that's all i have to say for this message i hope that you guys receive the message and i just thank god for putting this message on my heart because this is something that i truly believe that he placed on my heart to share with you guys and i love you guys very much please let me know down below what topic i should do next i'm gonna pray on it as well um holy spirit guide me please and but let me know if you guys want me to do a q a or tips or whatever i'm so open to your um suggestions and i just want to let y'all know that we're in this together this is a this is a sisterhood a brotherhood a sing, siblinghood we're all in this together and i love you guys so so much i hope you guys have a blessed day and just know that you have a purpose and god loves you so much and i do too so bye see you in the next video and i hope you guys have a blessed week bye bye save me I just want you to